Hi, my name is David, and I try to play guitar. I'm not very good, as you can tell. One day, I saw a video of blues great Joe Bonamassa getting very technical about his guitar amplifiers. For guitar player, that guy really knows his stuff about amps. He inspired me to learn more. But to really understand guitar amps, you need to take them apart and put them back together. I watched hundreds of videos. I read all kinds of books. From Craigslist and eBay, I bought a used soldering iron, some old voltmeters, an ancient oscilloscope, and other test gear. Eventually, I built an entire electronics lab. Now, I guess I'm sort of an amp mechanic. I fix other electronics too, and this, well, this is my journey. I figured I'd share so others can learn too. I hope you like it, and just as a disclaimer, be sure to consult an expert before working with electricity. Well, hello, all you YouTubers out there. Uh, this is Dave the Amp Mechanic, and uh, I just wanted to do a little commentary while I work on this crate amp. You'll see the video for the whole thing, the repair when it's done. But I wanted to just point out how uh, you see these amps come in in all different kinds of uh, condition uh, from the factory when they first come in for a repair. And this amp, uh, the, the flux residue that's everywhere on this board is just shameful. Uh, I literally can chip away at it. In fact, I did. I don't know if you can see the end of my chopstick there. I'm trying to get it up close. I don't know if it's going to focus or not. But I literally can dig at the uh, um, at this stuff, and then uh, I clean it up like that. I'm using a Q-tip and some isopropyl alcohol, and it, you can see if I just can show you the Q-tip there. Look what's coming up. That's dirt and filth that's on the board, and the reason this is important to make sure that you don't leave this on your boards when you're working on them is because this stuff is kind of powdery as it dries up and uh, like as I, as I was scraping this off the um, the uh, with the chopstick here you can kind of hear it like chisel I don't think the microphone can pick it up but that's it's literally dust that's coming it's like dirt that's coming up off the board and as a result of that dirt um, that dirt could go right into a tube socket. You can see here the tube sockets. And imagine if that stuff goes down there. Then your tube is not going to make a really good contact. Um, you know, those, the pins on your tube are not going to make good contact in those little tiny uh, pinouts. So uh, just one little pointer for you if you're working on amplifiers is, number one, um, if you could, for the benefit of... Uh, the guy who has to work on the amp after you, uh, make sure you, uh, you clean whatever residue you leave behind when you're soldering. And the other thing is uh, if you're somebody like me who comes in after the fact and somebody's left one of these messes behind, um, then go ahead and clean that up too. Why not, right? You know, you want, uh, your reputation is on the line and uh, you want your customers to know that when you find something that needs to be cleaned up, aside from the general problem that the amplifier is having, that, uh, that you'll go ahead and take care of that business too, right? Why not? It's kind of like uh, you think about your car. Would you um, ever uh, you know, go back to a mechanic who lifted up the hood of your of your car and had to do some work on the engine and spotted some shoddy workmanship and then decided just to leave it? I mean, at the very least, he should ask you if he's going to charge you to clean it up. Now, I'm not going to, I don't charge money for this stuff. I just do this for, for fun, for friends. So uh, I don't have to uh, call my friend Al up and say, hey, Al, uh, there's residue all over this board. Do you want me to clean it up? No, he wants me to do it. So, uh, uh, because, you know, just like the mechanic, and he knows he's getting it at no cost. Here's a mess over here. Wow, this is disgusting. I have to scrub this off. I don't know what happened over here. I don't know if this is the way it came from the factory. Look at that. That just came off right there. 
I don't know if this is coming from the factory like this or if it was somebody else who was into this board, put it together and uh, just did a whole bunch of work on this and left it this way. Anyway, um, I have a bunch of work to do because there's oh, this mess is like showing up everywhere on this board and uh, I want to make sure it's nice and clean. So uh, I'm going to sign out, but um, I just thought I'd point this out. Uh, just a little side video that's coming out of the repair of this particular crate amp. Um, yeah, make it nice and shiny. That's the way it should be. Nice and clean. That way the next guy who opens it up goes, wow, this amp's been taken care of. Okay, that's it for now. Dave the Amp Mechanic. I'll see you at the next video. Thank you.